Hi everybody, it's Bonnie Jean from BonnieJean.com. Welcome back to today's video. This is actually video number two in a two-part video series to show you how to clone a WordPress blog and then copy it to a brand new URL location or even a different server. So in order to do this, you have to go to the new website that you want to create a blog on and you have to log into that website's cPanel like I have done here. Once you're inside, you want to go into the Find box and type in Fantastico. Once it comes up, you want to double click it. So what we're going to do now is we're going to install a new WordPress installation. Double click on WordPress over here and then choose New Installation. Now once that comes up, it's going to ask us for a little bit of criteria. Now if you're going to install your blog into the main root directory, you can leave this section blank. However, if you want to put it in a blog directory, then you would type the name of whatever directory it is that you want. But I want to install mine into the main directory. Then go down here and fill out your admin, username, and password. And don't worry about making those secure because WP Twin is going to overwrite it with your clone file. Now my admin nickname the email site name is turn plr to cache which is the new uh, website that I want to build and then the description and then click install WordPress once you get to the screen here click finish installation now WordPress gives you by default a way to copy all of this information here into your email. So I usually do that as a fail safe. Then send that email. So let's go take a look at what that looks like. Go back up to your browser and type in the URL to your new website. And here we go. We have a brand new WordPress blog installation. Now what we want to do now is we want to take that clone file that we created and we want to overwrite this default setting. So go to your FTP program like you did before and locate the directory that has your WP Twin files in it. You also want to log in to your new website so make sure you log in and click that public HTML directory so you're in the main root directory and then I want you to take the WP Twin deploy script and slide it and copy it over and I also want you to take the WP Twin file and copy and slide that over as well now once you've done that we have to deploy that script just like we did before so go back to your browser and up here type in WP Twin deploy PHP. That will bring you into the deploy product and you'll see right off the bat that there are two check marks here underneath step number one. Leave those check marks alone because what WP Twin will do is it will literally clean up after itself and once we're done deploying then it will erase the files that we no longer need. Since we only made one clone file in step number two we just pick the one that's listed and then go down to number three and click the button to deploy your clone. Depending on how big that clone file is, you know, how many files you've copied, it could take a while. So as you can see now it says site clone is deployed, click here to view. So now let's go view our brand new website. And as you can see, here it is. Originally when we did my clone file, we cloned my article writing blog. And let me move the screen here so you can see but you'll see that we're actually at turn PLR to cache and everything is here. So if you have any questions, please don't hesitate to, to ask them and I will do my best to answer. Take care and have a nice day.